We wanted to thank our sponsors, Boss Play. They've been helping us out the last few months, and we really appreciate them. They are an escape room in Oceanside, California. They have two different escape rooms, the Prohibition Ransom and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, if you're in the area, you can check them out over at www.boss-play.com. It has all the information, has all the way to get a hold of them, where they're at. Basically, a website. <laughs> Do you ever feel like your whole life is you just living inside of an escape room? Oh, yes, except for I, I have given up trying to get out. <laughs> you were telling me before we started recording that you came up with a jingle for boss play. Oh, jeez. Can you, can you share it for us? <laughs> yes, this is the one that I've been working on for months. It goes, boss play, where the bosses go to play. Boss play. Boss play. I'm kind of disappointed you didn't put put yourself in the puzzle. I thought that was the tagline we, we came up with him the last time. Well, yeah, but you got to remember, like I said, I've been working on this thing for like nine months. And <laughs> we just came up with the new tagline recently, and I didn't want to have to reintroduce it and start all over. All right. Well, they haven't been sponsoring us for nine months, so I'm a little concerned about your uh, passion projects you're doing on the side here. I do one for all uh, escape rooms over the United States, actually. All right. What's another one? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> well, I've been told I, I can't make any more songs with their names in them. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you Cease and desist. Can you take out the other names and put in boss play instead? Okay, yeah, I could do that. So just say boss play instead of the, yeah, the other the, name. Yeah. Okay, it goes boss play where bosses go to play. Boss play. So that's a different one. Yeah, that's completely different. Okay. That's pretty that good. One, I, I like that, that one. That one I, I got like three years ago. I like that one a lot that's, better than the first one. That's an original one. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a throwback now, to my early jingle times. Did you harmonize with yourself on that second one? That was actually, yeah, harmony, melody, sympathy, sympathy, <laughs> empathy. That's it. All right. Well, uh, I think... I think you could do better. I think you could pick your game up. Next week. I'll be back in nine months with my new one. (laughs) The next ad. I want to hear a legit produced version of the Boss Play theme song. Theme song? Jingle. Uh, Yeah, I thought you were the one right in there. Theme song. Yeah. You didn't know about that? Or you did know about that? When are we going to hear that one? Well, give me a beat. Boom, 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 <laughs> Is that, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> is that law and order? <laughs> no, that's, boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, 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 wow. Boss play. Wow, 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 wow. Where the bosses <laughs> come to play. <laughs> Boss play. Something like that. Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan. I see that. This week, I did something terrible. What have you done? I watched Basket Case. Oh, boy. Now, I I made a video about it, and I actually made a like full-on reaction video. But YouTube said, no, 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 sir. That's way too much non-original content. You're essentially breaking the law. So I had to take that down. So I put up a review on our YouTube channel, but I sent you the original video. Did you watch it? Well, here's the thing about that. 
<laughs> it would not play. It wouldn't play on my phone. So I need to pull it up onto my computer to watch it, and I have not. Oh, my goodness. You failed me. <laughs> I thought we were going to do it live. This movie was so bad. Mm. I was shocked at how upsetting it was. It's <laughs> It's a weird thing because I haven't seen it, but I've known about it for quite some time, and I almost want to watch it just to see... What I had to make you watch. <laughs> it, it's, it's really upsetting. The, so the whole story, the whole premise is these two brothers are, they're Siamese, Siamese twins. One is deformed and attached to the other one's hip. And the, during the birth, their mom died and the dad always resented the deformed brother. So he hired. But not the other one? Not the other one. Just the deformed one. Cause the one kind of looked like a monster. Mm. And so <clears throat> they, he hires three doctors. One of them is a veterinarian. Two of them are just regular doctors, I believe. And Boring. they remove the brother and put him in the trash. Okay. But he survives. This is at birth? Uh, no, they're like 12 at this point. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's a long time that okay. goes. And uh, so the deformed brother survives, and then the older brother builds a contraption with this giant saw and ends up cutting his dad in half. Okay. And like uh, it. so it, it represents the splitting in half is the idea. Right. They, they hit on that theme a lot. Oh, movie. so this is an artistic movie. Yeah. Everyone, everyone who dies gets ripped in half to, oh, to, right. uh, so they understand what type of pain they went through emotionally. I gotcha. Uh, so the ant comes and takes them both in, takes care of them. Then they get older and the, the normal brother starts carrying around his brother in a, basket they can speak uh telepathically mm. and now they're hunting down the three doctors so real quick why was one of them a vet one of the doctors i don't know there yeah. was no they, <laughs> it was like a review he ran out of money on the first two doctors <laughs> and could only afford a veterinarian i guess it, it, it was like the reveal at the end they're like she was a veterinarian like shocking <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it didn't make any sense. Uh, but so the movie opens up with them killing one of the doctors. About middle way through, they kill the second doctor. But during that time, the normal brother meets a girl who is the, uh, the receptionist. And they go on yep. a date. And the deformed brother gets attracted to the receptionist. And essentially murders and rapes her. Oh, okay. And it's very upsetting. Every, yeah. every bit of it. Now, now he's not a full person, right? He's nope. like a, he's, he's, he's like, like a, a head, shoulders, torso? and arms. Not even okay. a torso. It's like nipples uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, is, is very, that viable? I don't think so. Cause it, that was like, one of the things they said, uh, when they were cutting them apart. They're like, they don't share any organs. They're just connected at the skin. I was like, wait, how is the other one surviving? He, does he have a heart? Where's his heart? I have no idea. I guess there's maybe room, but then you gotta have lungs, kidney, at least all bladder. Yes. Well, we all know. You're not really living anymore when you just got the one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that happens. Then they're angry with each other, but they still. Oh, so he, so that upsets the brother. Yeah, he's a little perturbed about it. Uh, and, well, I guess before that happened, they killed the, the veterinary and the third doctor. But it was really more about the receptionist mm -hmm. that 
kind of made everything go crazy. So they get in a fight and they both fall out the window and fall to their death. And they land the what? same way that they were born, that they were born side by side. Squished into each other. Yep. It was awful. Wow, that is riveting. <laughs> was, Wait, so how the, how do they fall out the window? Like the other one can't move, right? So just stand across the room. Oh, he can them. move. Every time, every time the the deformed brother. So I'm man, I'm imagining every time like the def- a human geo dude. Essentially, yeah, that's pretty much exactly right. Every time so he moves, he- they do stop motion, like claymation stop oh, motion form. Oh, jeez. But he jumps, and they're, like, fighting each other, wrestling, and uh, they just fall out a window. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Wow. That is... That sounds fun. Yeah. Did you, like, step 10 feet away from your microphone? Uh, Nine feet. Oh, okay. Uh, Yeah, it was really bad. It was very upsetting. Hmm. It was a good punishment. Watch. How long is that movie? It felt like it took three and a half months to get through. Yeah, I've heard it's 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 three to three and a half months long. Yeah, it's very long and very poorly paced. <laughs> you should see the director's cut. <laughs> it is nine years. The extended. It's poorly paced. Is there any, is there, is there anyone notable in this movie? No, I don't think so. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where I even heard of this movie. I, 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 I have no idea. It just, <laughs> someone had mentioned it and I looked it up and I was like, oh, this looks awful. And then I've been sitting on that for like seven years <laughs> waiting for a moment like this to come up and it paid off perfectly. Oh, it was, it was rough. Not even going to lie about it. So was it worse than you even thought it was going to be? Yeah. Yeah, I went into it thinking, oh, this might be fun because it's, you know... Uh, so uh, bad? Yeah, it's a comedy horror movie. Like, it seems like it might be... like Now, is it actually described as a, a comedy horror? Yeah. Yeah, on IMDb, okay. it's classified as comedy horror. Now... Is this, does this movie, does it know what it is or does it try to be a good movie? No. It, uh. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, clearly it's not too serious, I don't it's think. It's definitely but. not, it definitely doesn't take itself serious. But it also isn't like tongue in cheek. Hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it just felt very low effort. Like, I think they knew it was gonna be bad. So they're like, let's just, who cares? Just do that. Yeah. Let's do just, everything will just do one take. As long as you don't mess up your line, one take is fine. Yeah. Whatever we get is, is it? Yeah. I like, what do you think the whole movie was in one take? Start to finish, they just never stopped filming. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. That would be awesome. It's like Birdman. Oh, yeah. So. Oh man, what was there? Do you have any favorite parts? Favorite parts? Um, any part that was like, okay, that was kind of funny, or that was kind of cool. Anything that stood out? Uh, not intentionally funny. Like right. they weren't. I don't think they were meaning for this to be a joke. But there's this <laughs> one scene where the brother is upset with his. So the the normal brother Gosh, is upset with the monster. And he goes downstairs and he's getting drunk and he gives a speech about, uh, the, he's with this girl and the girl's like, what's in the basket? And he said, my brother. And he's like laughing. He's a monster. And he's laughing. And then, then he goes on this like crazy rant and not even a rant. It's like, like a monologue. Yeah. This long monologue. But it's just every, all exposition. Just like, yeah. when we were born, he killed my, my mother and my father always hated us. So he had us separated and I've been taking care of him because 
our aunt took care of us for a long time, but she died. And so now I'm trying to help him get revenge for her. Like, it's just like everything you didn't understand about the movie, they put into this monologue and it was just so ridiculous <laughs> that it was kind I of had funny. to fill some time. Yeah. They're like, this thing's about 20 minutes short. We're not even <laughs> going to get a theater run if we don't bump this up. <laughs> oh man. Right now we're classified as a short film. <laughs> It was. It's really, really bad. I wouldn't even recommend watching it for fun. Really? Yeah. I might watch some clips or something. I gotta see. I I gotta see something. So I think you should brother... watch it, but <laughs> out of uh, you having to suffer. The brother does he take care of the monster because like he cares about him or because he like feels obligated to? Yeah, I think he loves him. I think he's like connected to him. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not like how we would treat any of our brothers, but it's how some people oh, no. would treat their that's, brothers. That's that's borderline criminal. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, Taylor made me watch that because I lost over on Patreon. Yeah, if you yeah. would like to see Taylor have to pay the punishment, which will be me getting to choose a terrible movie to make him watch, you can go over and vote for me for a dollar. Not only do you get to help me win. But you also get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. So, or you cannot do that and vote for me, and we can continue this run of Alan losing everything. <laughs> the, what we have coming out this week over on Patreon is uh, the Purge, Anarchy. It's coming out on the fifteenth, and God's Not Dead, the first one with Ross McIntyre. Oh boy. Yeah, it was, uh, I was kind of surprised how little I liked God's Not Dead. Really? You're, did you think you would? Um, I had hope that it would be good. I've heard people like it. Oh, well, people like everything. There's someone's going to like something. Yeah. Always. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but no, this was really bad. It's very, very not good. Uh. You know what's great is, as you were talking, I just realized the next movie I'm going to make you watch for the punishment. <laughs> what's that? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want I don't want it to backfire on me. <laughs> you can go check us out on patreon.com slash I seen that. Uh, go check out Boss Play. And uh, we'll be back in a couple days. <laughs>